my name is Sanna Maria and today I'm going to be showing you how to be able to do this. Or even this. By following the next steps I'm going to be showing you, you'll be able to perform chin-ups or pull-ups in no time. In order to be able to do chin-ups, you need to have a good grip strength. Work your way up to 60 seconds of non-stop hanging. You can start by doing 3 20 second sessions and work your way up from there. Once you can hang for 60 seconds straight, you can move on to negative chin-ups. Here the idea is to start from the top position meaning that when your chin touches the bar, that's your starting point. Lower yourself down to straight arms as slowly as possible and from there, using a bench or a box, get yourself back to the starting position. Aim for 3 times 10 negative reps. Find a parallel bar close to floor. I do this on the Smith machine where it's easy to set it up exactly to my preferred height. Keep your legs straight and lower yourself to a starting position. From there, pull yourself up so that the bar touches your upper chest by concentrating on squeezing the back. After this starts to feel easy, lower the bar even more and aim for 3 times 10 clean reps. Since you've already come this far, don't make this easy for yourself by taking a heavy resistance band. Rather choose a light one that really challenges you. Step on the band with one leg and pull yourself up. Remember to keep your core tight, again aiming for 10 clean reps. Now you're ready to move on to the real deal. Start with your arms straight, lifting yourself up by using your back and arms while arching your back and thinking about pulling your elbows towards your hips. This activates your lat muscles. That was all the steps. Now moving forward to what is really the difference between chin-ups and pull-ups. Between those two, it's all about the grip. When performing chin-ups, you have an underhand grip where your palms are facing inwards, like this. The main muscles working when doing chin-ups are lats and biceps. And with pull-ups, it's the other way around. You're using an overhand grip where your palms are facing outwards, working mainly your upper back muscles. So if you were to do pull-ups instead of chin-ups, it would look like this. And if you want to challenge yourself even more, give these variations a try. Alright, that was all. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please press thumbs up and subscribe. Hope to see you next time.